Okay guys, so the time has finally come where we are going to build out our recipe search engine. This is going to be a really exciting project. Now before jumping in, I wanted to show you what we're actually going to build, be building. So I, I've, I've created this app before actually well, showing you how to do it. So I'm just going to give you a brief tour on how all of this works. So this is the, the front page of or what's going to be the front page of your search engine. And we will have various options here. We can, for example, register a new user. So if I type in my email, my name, and a password, and I hit register, what will automatically happen is I will be sent a confirmation email to confirm my account. This is all done automatically. So here you will learn two things. First of all, you will learn how to send automatic emails and confirm accounts. Second of all, I'm not sure if you realize, but this was all done by JavaScript in, in a dynamic form. And so, so here we're already interacting with Ajax and JavaScript. So we're making asynchronous calls to the server. And like that, we're, we're able to, to have a nice experience. Let me just show you this once again. So, and I'm going to type in a new email, which is not registered. And again, a name. And here, for example, I can leave the password out and you'll see we, we get an error that we need to fill in a password. So I'm going to type in the password, register, and all of this is happening dynamically, right? We're not reloading the page. So the user experience is really nice. Then if, if I were to go into my email and confirm the account, I would go into this login page. So I can go and, and log in with my, with my user I just created. And here I'm logged in. You see it's identifying my account. Hello, Michael here in the title and Michael here in the account. And I can go ahead and, and actually uh, post a new recipe. So I can choose a photo. So we're upload, we're going to be uploading photos onto our server, not only data, but also photos. I can quickly type in a recipe. Okay, and now if I post the recipe, I can see my account has one recipe posted and, and this will be the recipe page. So, so this is one thing, right? We, we have registering users, we have sessions, so we know that the user is logged in, we have automatic emails, we have Ajax and JavaScript, and then we have the whole search engine. So if I go ahead and look for olives, well, here's my recipe here, right? The one I just posted. But you, you'll see that there's a bunch of other recipes, right? And where are these recipes coming from? Well we will also learn how to build a parser. What is a parser? So let's, for example, let's search for cake cookies. And we have a bunch of recipes, but the one I'm going to be showing you is this one here. If you see, the, well, this is a ordinary recipe, but here I have another tab opened up and you'll see it's the exact same recipe. And so what we're building out here is we'll, we are building out a parser and the parser, what, what, what a parser does is it goes out to other websites and extracts data. So we're extracting the title, we're extracting the photo, we're extracting the ingredients and the directions, and we're, we're adding them to our database. Now, this is, a, this is basically what Google does all day. It goes into different websites and parses them and extracts content to list them in, in its own search engine. So we will be doing the exact same thing. And this is a really, really useful skill to, to develop and to be able to build parsers and extract data from any kind of data source you can imagine. So, so this is a really good skill to have. Not, not only will we building our parser, but we will also learn how to do it in a very, very scalable way. So we will be using queues in, in App Engine. So this means that we will be loading, for instance, let's say 10,000 URLs or 10,000 recipes to parse. And our application will go one by one and get them out of the list and, and from our, well, base, and get them out from the queue. And in addition to that, we will also learn how to separate our application into modules. So what this means is that on, on one side, we will have our, our search engine. So all of this that you see here running on one set of resources. And then the parser will actually be running on a completely different set of resources. Now, wh why would we do that? Well, basically, this is to ensure that our users, if they type in some queries here, they get the best user experience possible because they have a fast search engine. 
if we put the parser on the same resources as our search engine, then what, what could happen is that the search engine would be slower because part of its resources are being used up by the parser. And the parser is quite an intensive uh, task it has to do because it has to call it another website, process the information and store it to our database. So this will help us provide a really good user experience by separating our application into modules and we will learn all of this throughout the course. So we're going to learn so many different concepts and it's going to be really, really fun to, to do all of this stuff in App Engine and you'll see it's going to also be fairly easy to understand the different concepts. So I can't wait to get started.